Safety, as always, because I'm knocking stuff over. But it's empty, as always, because I've separated everything out, like I always do. I do my makeup first, then full size, travel size, and then samples, so that if people don't want to see samples, they can go ahead and tune out. First, makeup. I have this Laura Geller Tinted Under Makeup Primer in Bronze, their Spackle Primer. This was all right. I didn't really notice it doing anything and it didn't mix well with foundation. I tried that one day, so I would not seek that out. I have the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Orchid Hush. You can kind of see the color there. Uh, this was a really pretty color, but this formula is like rubbing Play-Doh on your face. It's not terribly pleasant. But they don't sell it anymore, so it doesn't really matter anyway. We have the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. This is just a miniature size that I got from Ipsy. I like this formula, but this particular shade is too dark for me. So if I was going to purchase it again, I'd purchase one of the lighter ones. But it does, you know, mix nicely with foundation to get that kind of luminous glow thing going on. Or you could just, you know, tap it on your cheeks for like a highlight. This surprised me. This is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Mascara. This was actually really good. Like, especially once it dried out a little bit, it got really awesome for some volume and some length. This is only $4.99 and it only lasted me about two months because it dried out kind of quickly, but I actually would consider purchasing this again. I have 8,000 mascaras right now, so I don't need to, but if... If you're looking for a cruelty-free mascara, maybe check this out. I know not everybody likes Wet n Wild mascaras, and I don't like all of their mascaras, but I did really like this one. This is the e.l.f. Translucent. This is the e.l.f. Mattifying Powder in Translucent. It doesn't come with a ton of product. I went through this in about two months, but it did work as a mattifying powder, so I would recommend it. Just be prepared to buy it fairly often, especially if you're oily skinned like me and bathe yourself in powder every day have the Murad Invisiblur Perfecting Shield. You guys know I love this stuff, so yes, I would definitely recommend it. We have the Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Crayon in Mystic. This was just a really nice nude for me, and I really loved it, and it's actually on my uh, Sephora to buy list for the Sephora VIP sale, because it worked for me really well as a nude. I have my Rimmel uh, Moisture Renew lip liner. This is the clear one. I really like this. I would repurchase, but I have a lot of lip liners right now, so I'm not going to purchase that just yet. This is the Beauty For Real Eyeline 24-7 Eyeliner in, I don't know, 24 karat. Can you see in there what the color was? This is one of those products that you can roll up but not roll back down, so for that thing alone, I would probably not purchase. I got this in an Ipsy bag, and then I rolled it up too far, so I had to depot it, and it dried out quickly. And my final makeup item is the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur. This does fill in my pores really well, but it's kind of heavy. I have stuff that I like better for it, but if I came up, I got this in a mystery box, so if I got it again, I would use it, but I would probably not purchase on my own. Full size. Let's go over my husband's empties first because he finished like everything at once. First is the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. This is what he liked. I've told him a million times that he shouldn't use this every day because it can do the little micro tears in your skin. I know that they reformulated and this is not quite as scrubby as it used to be, so maybe they fixed that, but I've always heard that for the longest time. Don't use this every day. You're going to tear the crap out of your skin. But this is what he really likes, so I buy it because I'm not going to argue with him too much over that. This is the shampoo and conditioner he finished. It is the Pantene Daily Moisture Renewal. He did not have much of an opinion on it. He used it up and liked it fine, but he's aggravating, honestly, when I ask him, what did you think of this? And he's like, uh. I actually did get an opinion out of him on his new one because he usually makes a note to tell me if he does have an opinion because I bug him all the time for him. Uh, he's using the Garnier, their new, like, whole, wholesome, whole foods, something like that line. And it's the olive oil one, and he says he really likes the conditioner because it lathers. Which, he apparently likes conditioners that lather because he can use less because they spread through his hair better, as he put it. So that one actually has been noted to repurchase. And finally, we have a... Finally for Brian, we have a Spa Haas Body Wash for Men Rainforest. I get this at the Dollar Tree. I haven't had to buy one of these for a while because I've been able to coupon the, what's it called? 
the Irish Spring really cheap, which is this is basically a dupe for. But this is really good. It works just just about as well as the Irish Spring, so I would totally recommend either if you like those kind of scents. It really does smell like Irish Spring. It's awesome. So if they stopped doing good deals on Irish Spring, I would totally go back to buying that. Next is the Curel Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer. I've said this a million times, if I'm gonna use a wet skin moisturizer, I like using ones that I can use in the shower versus ones I have to put on after the shower, which is this one. So I would not purchase that. This is the Lancome Visionaire Crescendo Progressive Night Peel. It comes in two phases. I got this from Influencer and I don't think it did a damn thing. So I would not purchase that. Plus it's like $75, so hell to the no. This next I have the Secret um, Passion de Tango scent. This is the gel antiperspirant. I really miss this because I'm using the La Vanilla deodorant right now and it doesn't work for crap on me. So uh, this this I would repurchase. Not the, not the La Vanilla. Next is the Neutrogena Deep Clean Cleansing Oil to Foam. This is a Korean beauty product so this is kind of hard to get in the States. But this is what I use to remove my eye makeup. It was, it comes out as a foam, you rub it on your dry face, and then it kind of starts to foam up. You can use it just as a straight oil cleanser, which I have done. And it removes your makeup really awesome. So if you can get this easily, I would totally recommend trying it out. This came from 0.8 liter, so that's how I got a hold of it. Next is the Ladykin Fresh Maju Farm Broccoli Super Brightening Cream, another Korean product. This does not smell like broccoli. <laughs> Somebody asked me that. I'm like, no, it doesn't smell like broccoli. It, it is not joking about the whitening effect. It is actually kind of, not really on the thick side, but thick as in it doesn't rub in and sink in too quickly. It is very white on your skin. A little bit goes a long way. So this, I would probably not seek out again, but I do really like Korean skincare. Also, I broke the bottle on this one. So there's that to note as well. Dollar Shave Club, Club Razors. I love these. I keep purchasing. This is a Wea Natural Ultra Care Vitamin E Oil. Got this from the Dollar Tree. Used it in the bath. It was fine for that, but I would not repurchase. And finally, for full sizes, other than some like masks and stuff, I have the Equate Cotton Swabs. These definitely do the job, so I just rebought another two pack. This actually is a two pack that comes sealed together, so have some paper masks. This is the Etude House Collagen Eye Gel Patch. This was nice. I got this on a swap, so it's fine. I have two of the Manifit masks. The cucumber one is really good. The Lily Whitening and Brightening one was not. It was something about the smell of this one that I did not agree with. Plus, the fit wasn't great on that one for some reason. Next is the BioBell Hashtag Decadence. I was kind of disappointed in this, and it's a stupid reason. It says it's made with chocolate and acai berry. It had like no scent at all. I was definitely expecting like some chocolate or berry scent in there and I didn't get either one. It was a really nice mask though. So you can get these from like Ulta now because that's where I got this one. Because I kind of got hooked on them through BoxyCharm because I got like a three pack from BoxyCharm and you can buy them all at Ulta now, which is good. Got some Alba Botanical Hawaiian 3-in-1 towelettes. I do really like these. I usually only get them when I see them at TJ Maxx though because it's not that they're expensive, it's just that they're really cheap at TJ Maxx, so I just get them there. Have the Simple Cleansing Wipes. These, this is like one of my favorite brands to get cleansing wipes from. Them and Alme are my two favorites. This was not my favorite. I hated this. This is the Acure Coconut and Argan Oil Cleansing Towelettes. I got these in a swap. These smell like Play-Doh, like the nasty off-brand Play-Doh. I had to use these for swatches. I couldn't stand to put them on my face. And finally, before we get the travel size stuff, we have the seventh generation clean, free and clear wipes. These are technically baby wipes, but I use them for like swatches and for when I put foundation on the back of my hand to put on my face, I would wipe it off with these. These were actually really great. And I kind of want to buy them again. I got these in a mystery box, actually. But now I really want to buy them again. So I probably will. I have a lot of, you know, makeup wipes right now, though. So I don't want to repurchase until I finish off all those. Miniatures. We have the Japanese Makeup Brush Cleanser in the Citrus Scents. This is just a little mini of it. This is really nice. 
Uh, I hope I can find the citrus scent in the full size because I really like citrus scented things. They also have the unscented one and a rose scented one, but this is the one that I really like. And it does, you like spray it on your brush and then you wipe it on a paper towel. So it's like a spot cleaner. It's really good though. I really enjoy it. We have the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. This is a little mini mini that I got for a 100 point perk from Sephora. It was a waste. It didn't do anything. I have a Lush Kitchen Slammer Shower Gel that I got in a mystery box. This was nice. It was super kitchen lemony, so I would probably not seek that out. I don't even think they make that anymore though. I have the Mark Anthony Nourishing Argan Oil of Morocco Perfect Blow Dry Smoothing Cream. This was fine as a styling cream. I didn't use it for blow drying because I don't blow dry my hair. So it does work for that because I did try it like that once so I could give a review for like Ipsy, but I wouldn't purchase it again because I don't blow dry my hair. This is the J.R. Watkins Hand and Body Lotion in Lemon Cream. This smelled so good, you guys, and it was moisturizing. So this, this I might actually seek out again. Ooh, it smells so good. Ugh. I have way too many lotions to go through right now, but one day. I was mad about this because I spilled like two thirds of it down the sink one day. <laughs> this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover and this is really good. That's why I was mad. I spilled two thirds of it down the sink. I actually had to go out and buy more eye makeup remover because this was my last one. I bought the little Pond's tub because it was cheap and I knew it worked. Let's see, another makeup remover. This is the Matte Cleanse Off Oil. This is okay, but not great. So I would not repurchase that. Why did I put that over there? Okay, that's apparently it for minis. So all we have left are samples. Let's see, I have a MAC sample. This is in Velvet Teddy. I really, really liked this. It looked really good on me. So maybe one day I will purchase that. I have a NARS blush and orgasm. This is, this is a pretty blush, but it's easily dupable. I have a mini of this that I got from somewhere. I didn't pay for it, but I would never buy the full size because like I said, easily dupable. I have the YSL Touche Clot Concealer in N1. I really love this concealer. Probably gonna buy another full size at the VIB sale. I have two of the Benefit Professionals. They're fine, but I would not repurchase because I have stuff I like better because that stuff smells really bad to me. I have three of these Sephora brush wipes. I also really like these. I have the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum. This was okay. I prefer the other one, though. I can't think of the name of it right now. But they make another one that's a little bit cheaper than this one that I liked better. The Believe True Cream Aqua Balm. You guys know I love this. The L'Oreal Mythic Oil. This is for your hair. Wow, this smelled kind of nasty. This made my hair feel really soft. It was really solid though, like coconut oil at room temperature solid, so. Here's one of the New Face Prep and Glow Wipes. I do really like these, but they're like a dollar a uh, thing, like when you divide up the price. So while I would never purchase them normally, if I was traveling for an extended period of time, I would probably pick these up because these work both to exfoliate and cleanse your face. Like one side is scrubby and one side is plain. So you wouldn't have to pack face wash. And finally, a Biore Charcoal Nose Strip. These are awesome. Wow, I went through that really fast. I don't know if I was talking too fast or what. So that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it and hopefully I will see you later. Bye.